hello guys and welcome back to my channel it's leonard here again and in today's video tutorial i'm going to walk you step by step on how to trade on bybit okay so if you want to trade features you want to trade spot options you know all those different style of trading whether p2p i'm just going to walk you step by step in this video how to trade using the bybit mobile app now if you don't have an account already because in order to trade with bybit and stand the chance of making ten dollars daily hundred dollars daily one thousand dollars daily you need a bybit account so you don't if you don't have a bybit account already use the link in the video description to sign up for an account and if you want to take advantage of all the free signals that we share every day on telegram you can equally use the link in the video description to join us on telegram how do you start trading on bybit now one thing you want to note is on bybit okay we have there are two types of trade basically okay all of the trading here is grouped into two so is either you are a spot trader or you are a derivative trader all right so down here where you see these menus you can see here where we have derivatives okay and then you see the next option is trade okay so if i go ahead and click on the trade option it brings us to this page here on this page at the top here you will see that by default we are on spot trade so if you want to trade spot once you click on the trade option it brings you here. if you want to trade spot you trade spot here now spot trading is basically buying low all right when there is a particular asset you want to buy you're looking for how to buy that asset cheap all right and when the price becomes higher or goes high or becomes expensive you sell them all right now the next option there is margin trading we'll talk about margin trading in the future but i just want you to focus on spot okay margin trading is actually trading with leverage you can actually borrow money from the exchange okay to boost whatever capital you have use it to trade at the end of the day you return the money you borrow from them pay the certain commission on that and keep the remaining all right then we have the convert option i'll do a separate video on that and then we have the auto invest but in this case if you want to start trading spot okay buying and selling so you buy low you sell high buy low sell high so you always look at the chart and look at where to buy and sell and all of that make sure that you are always on the spot option all right now when you fund your account by default using the p2p your funds will be on your funding wallet so in order to transfer that money from your funding wallet to your spot because as you can see here my balance here is zero okay in order to transfer that usdt to your spot all you just need to do is to click on this plus icon once you click on that plus icon you see the option here that says transfer click on the transfer option now when you click on the transfer option you can decide to fund your account okay from derivative you can fund your spot account that is since the spot account you want to trade but if you just created your account okay by default your account will be on a unified trading account so it will ask you to transfer from funding to a unified or a uta account so whatever funds you have on that uta account you can use it to trade both spot and features all right that is how you get your funds into the spot trading interface and you can start using it to trade all right so now how do we trade as you can see right here we are on the trade option all right so the first thing you want to do is to select the token that you want to trade currently i am looking at stx okay usdt if you don't want to trade this just go ahead and click on that stx and you can see a whole lot of supported token here now, for instance, if you have a token in mind that you want to trade already, let's say, for instance, you wanted to trade BNB, you go ahead and search for BNB here, and you see BNB USDT, go ahead and select it. And the current price of this BNB is currently at 2, you know, um, 98. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is to look at how to buy this coin cheaper, then I'll come sell it higher. So I'll go to the chart option here, all right? and um once i click on the chart it brings me to this chart okay so there are basic indicators that i use when i'm trading spot always and one of those indicators is rsi so in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to use the rsi with the moving average okay to do your buying and selling all right now how do you add those indicators to your chart when i come down here okay the one that is checked right now, which you see all these different lines you see on the chart here, is the EMA, okay? The moving average exponential, that is the one that is checked. If I go ahead, as you can see, it's highlighted here. All these other ones that are grayed out, okay, are not checked. 
these are all the indicators when you are using the you know chart the inbuilt chart on the exchange all right so if i want to uncheck this moving average i just go ahead and click on the ema you see that the line has gone off all right but i want to add the rsi so i will scroll um, by default the rsi is equally highlighted you see this is the rsi indicator right and that is the one that is checked okay so i'm going to do the settings for this rsi and i'm equally going to use the eme so let me equally check that eme and i do the setting once and for all okay so come in here and check this eme so that it will be active on our chart so i'll go ahead and click on that now once i click on that all right the next thing i need to do now is to go to this setting icon here click on it because i want to adjust the rsi and the you know moving average okay so once i click on that setting icon this dialog box pops up so click on indicators now when i click on indicators the next thing i want to do is to start with the rsi the rsi stands for relative strength index okay that is rsi so i'll go ahead and click on that all right now i don't need this multiple because you see like three different lines in three different colors okay so i don't need all of these right so what i can do if there is a strategy that allow you to use more than one rsi you can go ahead and do that but i just need only one rsi so i will uncheck this i will uncheck this all right and you see them in different colors so if you don't like this particular color you can select any color you are comfortable with all right so once i check that first one i'll go ahead and click on confirm i'll set up the rsi then the next thing i want to set up is the moving average which is this one here okay so i'll go ahead and click on it and then i don't need three moving average i only need one okay so i'm equally going to use that first one on check every other thing and here all right i'm changing the value of this to 200 okay because i want to use it to detect the trend of the market i'm going to trade so i'll click on it and i'll type 200 there all right so once i type 200 go ahead and click on confirm and then i can go back and go back again so this is what i am basically looking at all right so this is our moving average okay this line you see on the chart here is our moving average and then this is our rsi okay so basically um for whatever time frame i'm looking at okay the next thing i want to do now is to go to the one hour time frame because that is the time frame that i always like trading spot with all right so here on the one hour time frame remember on spot you are always buying low and selling high buying low and selling high currently at the current price here we are in a downtrend because we are below on the one hour time frame okay because these candlesticks are trading all right below this moving average here okay so i'm only looking for when this candle will break out and then maybe a possible retest i'll go ahead and take a long trade and all of that or i can start accumulating until when this will break to give us a you know an a a, a, a trend to the upside all right just like you see here when this broke okay the market came back and retest that em is somewhere here all right at this area of accumulation you would have accumulated a lot of tokens and when this moved up you would have sold but the way i basically use this is you know come to the rsi all right this is what the rsi looked like but what i wanted to pay attention to is this number right here okay that's the number i want you to pay attention to currently the rsi is saying 42 point something okay so i'm only looking to buy whatever time frame you are looking at okay i'm only looking to buy when the rsi is below 30 so anything 20 even below 20 okay i'm looking to buy that particular asset i'm looking at all right and then i will start selling my asset when rsi is 50 60 70 80 and above okay so the rsi is between 0 and 100 so anything from 30 below okay it means that the market is oversold so you'll be looking to buy and then anything from 70 and above it means that the market is overbought so you'll be looking to sell that is for spot trading okay that is for spot trading and all of that so that's basically how i use a combination of these two indicators okay so once you see that you know rsi is below 30 for instance right here okay the rsi was actually below 30 and all of that so if i click on it you see here that the rsi was around 20 25 or thereabout so if you have bought this token right here okay you would have sold where we came to retest 
um, to you know reject at that moving average there and you would have made some money okay so let's assume that when rsi was oversold here we bought um, bnb at 289 okay we would have sold our bnb somewhere up here all right if i click here when rsi was around 68 plus so we would have sold our bnb somewhere around there and um, around 300 plus and all of that and you would have made some money okay so if i go back to the trade option go to the trade option so we would have said okay we bought bnb at 289 when rsi was overbought all right 289 all right and then maybe we bought 100 dollars worth of bnb which would have given us right here okay it would have given us 0 0.34 you know, bnb that's 346 bnb and then we decided to sell that bnb when the market went up okay here when you're buying maybe if you just saw it immediately you would have just used market order and how do you do that you change this limit to market so when you change that limit to market you can just use this slider and drag or just type in the amount let's say hundred dollars and all of that you go ahead and buy now when you want to sell you are selling with limit order or when you look at the market okay until it gets to the level where you want to sell you come back here so we bought 0 0.346 bnb at 289 and then let's assume that we're going to sell at 305 right was that what i saw there is it uh, or 316 i can't remember is it 305 and then we sold 0 point you know 346 or 364 i can't remember okay so that trade alone would have given us five dollars plus okay because we bought what hundred dollars and would have made five dollars in that trade alone okay now you can do this like multiple times remember i did that on the one hour time frame right and on the one hour time frame you can get up to two three trades in a day so if you do that two three times in a day you would have made some money for yourself okay that is basically how you can trade spot on the bybit exchange then the next trading option is the one we call the derivatives all right so if i come and click on this middle button here that says derivatives I have trades that are currently running on the derivatives option so it's the same thing the interface is the same right so we have the trade option where we do the buying and selling and then we have the chart option now under the derivatives okay up here we have usdt perpetual now it is called usdt perpetual because we need usdt here to trade on this okay we can use usdt to trade buy and sell any other asset that we have here so when we make profit will be settled in usdt when we lose we'll be losing the usdt we have here you need usdc okay but if you are using a a verified um a unified trading account okay you can use usdt to trade even usdc contract and all of that then we have the inverse under the inverse option you need btc for instance if i go ahead and click on that inverse option let's say you are going to trade btc okay if you are going to trade btc usd you will need here you will need the BTC itself, not USDT. Okay, so BTC itself is what you'll be staking, and when you make uh, profit, you'll be settled in BTC. Then the last option we have under derivatives is the option trading. On option trading, I will do separate videos on all of that. Okay, but our focus here is just the USDT um, Petra. Just like I showed you before, if you don't have your funds here, you can just click on this plus button and transfer your money. Okay, to wherever you have it. But if you're using a unified trading, I can just transfer your USDT. To the ut account and you can use it to trade both sport and features right the same thing i just showed you on spot is the same thing you do here but the only difference here is that we are using leverage so we have selected the token we are going to trade okay and then we'll select the margin mode which is cross now cross will trade with the whole of your capital right and then isolated if i click on that cross option so you see that we have um we have here cross and then we have isolated isolated if i have one thousand dollars on my account and i decide to go into a trade with ten dollars if for any reason i don't put stop loss and i get liquidated i will only lose that ten dollars okay but for cross if i have one thousand dollars on my account and i decide to go into a trade with ten dollars and i don't put stop loss and i get liquidated i will lose the whole of the one thousand dollars all right that is the difference here but on cross margin it will allow me to stay longer in the market without any liquidation price or liquidation price being further and all of that but isolated will allow you to stay shorter and all of that okay so that's basically the difference and then you want to choose leverage okay leverage you can choose depending on the token you are trading okay from as low as 2x leverage to as high 
as you know 100x leverage depending on the token but for this particular token the highest i can go is 12.5 there are tokens you can go as high as 7500 and all of that okay so that is the difference between this and spot but for the chatting all right as you can see the eme i added every other thing i added is there for the chatting um you know our uh, using use of indicators and all of that at the same thing but here you can open long which is buying and then you can open short which is selling okay so that is basically how you trade on the bybit exchange and um i want you to focus on spot if you're a beginner okay once you get used to it you can now start trying that features and see how you can start making profit i'm going to make an in-depth tutorial on how to trade features using you know other tools and all of that i'll be making videos on this right um, separately but this is just how to trade on the bybit you know um, platform you can either start trading spot or start trading features depending uh, or derivative depending on what you want okay that is basically a step-by-step -step beginner's guide on how to start trading using the bybit mobile app i hope this video is helpful if it is give it a thumbs up now if you do have questions anything you don't understand you can use the comment section and i will definitely attend to all of your questions once again if you are new to the channel make sure you join us on telegram and take advantage of all the free signals that we share there on a daily basis and subscribe guys subscribe to the channel okay and um, hit that notification bell so that you'll be the first to be notified whenever we publish videos like this thank you all and i'll see you in the next video